<laughs> really like the cops. They really oh. make me high. I hope that I get taken into custody and die. And that every fact is written in the coroner's report gets thrown into the garbage so it won't be heard in court. The police didn't like that, so they started like pushing protesters <clears throat> and beating the ones that who, who fell on the ground. Like really, really beating bad. the ones who fell on the ground. Yes, like profusely. Like people got their teeth knocked out, like, bleeding all over the place. I was like helping them get back, like to, to get medical attention. And um, on my way back to the front line, uh, one of the police officers decided to stop. Poking the crowd um, with his with his club and decided to swing downwards in, into the crowd and he hit me in the skull and uh, split me open. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse the terminology. I really like the cops. I think they really neat. I like it when they take my face and smash it in the street and then they take me to a station house and lock me in a room and I love it when they rape me up the anus with a broom. Like there were times where I really was angry at the police and then there were times that I looked at them and realized, well I always knew they were human beings but <laughs> it's hard to look at someone as your equal when they are just standing there with a stick like this and they this woman cop, she got really excited and like she put it right up to the cop in front of her because all the riot cops started to come in and she they like they do look like turtles their padding looks <laughs> like turtles she's like oh my god the turtles are coming in i was just like even this cop is like oh that's crazy oh, i really like the cops i think they're pretty cool i like them in my neighborhood i like them in my school I think, I think the, the cops, cops are wonderful. wonderful, I think the, the cops, cops are nice, and I like to have a broken jaw and carry a pack of ice. And so, much like what happened on Saturday's march, um, people uh, in the Black Bloc uh, on Saturday's march were able to break through lines, like, uh, militantly, but I would say still non-violently. They, they would like, they would say, all right, everyone takes three steps forward. They were huge. assertive. Exactly. Okay. They, they would take three steps forward through the line, and eventually the line would break, and that happened several times. Several times we were kettled. Uh, I, at one point I was uh, at the front uh, of, of the push. I had sort of like gotten stuck there somehow. I was trying to s stay like three or two people behind and still hold the live stream camera above so I wouldn't get hit, but I got pushed to the front. And so since I was there, like I looked down the line like this with the camera, uh, and uh, you know, it was filming like people just getting beat, like on the ground, like stop, stop, and just people beating them, and uh, cops beating them, and, uh, and and a cop in front of me like hits my my hand and the camera down on the ground because he notices I'm filming this. So I pick it back up and I put it in his face and like, what's your badge number? Clearly wasn't because none of them had their badge numbers on their, of course, right? Uh, I really like the cops. You know they make me sing. You know my favorite movie is the tape by Rodney King. So I really get pissed off whenever somebody like you suggests we should submit the cops to citizens review. I really like the cops. I really like the cops. And then the, the van ran over a protester, so then we were like, you're not going to run people over, we stabbed the tire, because we're not just going to let them, they were still driving into the crowd, it was ridiculous. We were totally non-violent, we were trying to push against them, but we weren't like forcing them, we wanted to go to the NATO summit, of course. And they wouldn't let us. That's when they started hitting us back. Degrees, but the primary role of police is to maintain the current social order. It is to prevent protests from being effective. It is to prevent uprisings of people who are marginalized and who um, have nothing. Um, but the the institutional role of the police is set up such that individual officers, even if they are good people, will do bad things. I really like the cops. I'm so glad that they're around who hassle me and ticket me for sitting on the ground. I really like the cops. I'd be so sad if they were gone. There's something about a uniform that really turns me on. I don't care what position! You put the cops in! You put the cops in! And as far as I'm
I'm concerned. But as far as I'm concerned, it's about the banks. This is about the banks. I don't care about the cops. I don't care about the cops. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. As a man of color. As a man of color. From New York fucking city. From New York fucking city. For me. For me. It is about. It is about the point of production. The point of production of state oppression. Of state oppression. Which is the fucking police. Which is the fucking police. So fuck the fucking police. So fuck the fucking police. For a ten. For a ten. For a fucking ten. The U.S. They said on the news, you know, protesters were throwing bottles and and wood at the police. Uh, I saw a couple like little empty water bottles being thrown after like some guy's teeth got knocked out. I, I hope when you fall you hurt. I hope I hope when you fall you hurt that it follows you somewhere good. This is a uh, temporary restraining order. So if you decide to come back and they call the police, then we have to come in and we have to arrest you. Wait! I'm not allowed in front of my mic! I cannot imagine an officer handling it better than he just did. Crack and all the folks who push the buttons and the folks who push the mops come and listen while I tell you how I breathe.